Welcome back to Newswatch. Matt, it, we're seeing a, a wet morning across southern West Virginia right uh, now. I know. It's going to be a washout of a Monday for us as we take a live look right now. This is US 19 and Glen Jean. As you can tell, we're seeing wet road conditions. Before you leave for work, make sure you grab an umbrella because as we take a look at the Doppler radar, showers moving in towards our southwest. As we look towards our northeast, we're seeing a little bit of wintry mix in the Pocahontas County. Temperatures are getting warmer. We are in the 50s for Beckley, Mullins, Pineville, but a little bit cooler temperatures towards our east at 32 degrees in North Bend and in Marlington. We're going to play a fun game this morning called where is the warm front? We have very warm air in the 50s and 60s reaching into our area and colder air towards our northeast. Now, if you say the warm front is right areas in the green, you are correct. This warm front is bringing a wet start towards our Monday. A little bit of wintry mix, snow showers, freezing rain into Pittsburgh. But for us, we're just going to see a soggy Monday for us as this low pressure system moves through tonight, a cold front will bring more scattered showers and heavier rain tomorrow and the rain will slowly transition into a few little snow flurries as we get into Tuesday night and a Wednesday morning. Then a high pressure system will move in, drying things out for the rest of the week. So as we dive in to get more in depth with the rainfall, we're going to see some heavy rain this morning as that warm front lifts up towards the north. We will have a little bit of brief dry period, some scattered showers, hit or miss areas. But as we get through into Monday night and a Tuesday morning, that cold front is going to pass through, bringing some heavy showers at times and then we'll see a few little snow flurries in a Tuesday night until Wednesday morning. Really not much snowfall. What we're going to see maybe a trace amount if that for us for Wednesday morning. So storm impacts the main things to to watch out for is flooding and damaging winds. So let's start with damaging winds. Today won't be too bad. We'll see breezing conditions, but as we get through Tuesday morning, as that cold front approaches, we're going to see breezing conditions. Wind gets up to 30 to 40 miles an hour. So if you have any holiday decorations, make sure you anchor them or bring them inside or they're going to be right down the road by tomorrow morning. Winds start to die down as we get into Tuesday evening. We do have a flash flood watch for areas off towards our west starting from 10 a.m. this morning until tomorrow at 7 p.m. Now we can see close to about two inches of rainfall. That's a lot of rain in just a short amount of time. We can see localized flooding and poor drainage areas, just like Robert C. Bird, Bird Drive by uh, Valley College in that area. Anytime they have heavy rainfall, that area floods really well, or even by nearby creeks and rivers. So if you're driving, you see standing water, make sure you turn around and don't drown. As we get through tonight's forecast, scattered showers, breezy at times, but we will be warm in the 50s as we get through tomorrow. Rain showers will turn into snow as we get into Tuesday night. Really not much flurries. We're just going to see maybe a trace if that. We will begin to dry out for Wednesday and Thursday. And the first day of winter is Saturday. And it looks like we're going to be on the dry note.